hello there, Internet. It's been a little while since we spoke. Uh, I believe I was really drunk and talking about the election. But here we are. It's getting towards the end of December. I am a little late, but uh, I wanted to pass on a little bit of information for you. Uh, I've been, you know, eggnog's kind of a thing this, this time of year, so... I thought I'd take a minute and uh, explain to everyone how it's supposed to be properly enjoyed. Now, again, I know I'm a little late to the game, but there's still a little bit of time to get the most out of your season. So, but here's what I got for you. Um, so we're going to start off with our bourbon. Now, you can use just about any bourbon. Uh, doesn't have to be Knob Creek. Uh, I like the big flavor profile that Knob Creek has. So that'll, that'll complement nicely. Uh, set that here for now. We also want a nice dark rum. Now, okay, you don't have to use Kraken. I really like Kraken. That's my crack. So, we're gonna start to crack these open. This guy's a little tricky. There we go. Pop that off. Now, very important, this next part. You're gonna take two glasses, all right? Put about an ounce of each in there. And it don't have to be precise. You can if you like. I'm just doing a freehand pour. You know, service for now. Close this bottle back up since it's just me here today. Now, what we're going to do, we get our eggnog. Now, does not have to be store-bought. Doesn't have to be this brand. You can use homemade. Doesn't have to be homemade. No one's going to blame you for using your grandma's recipe or your great grandma's recipe. Or if you just don't have the time to make it and you just, you just want to enjoy your eggnog. So I got some store bought because I don't have time. Now, this next, but I'll tell you why it's not important because this next step is going to explain to you why. So we're going to take our eggnog, throw it in the trash, we're going to shoot our bourbon. We're going to shoot our rum. We're going to take a glass. Open our growler. Pour ourselves a double IPA. And have a lovely evening. Cheers.